Welcome, Nutrition Navigators. Have you ever wondered why you're always tired between 1 and 4 in the afternoon? You know that mysterious period when your eyelids feel like lead and your brain seems to be swimming in molasses? Well, you're not alone. Imagine a hospital where, between these hours, mortality rates mysteriously spike, and mistakes are made more frequently. A chilling thought, isn't it? But this is merely an analogy to illustrate the reality of most workplaces during these hours. Productivity dips, errors creep in, and it's as if everyone's been hit by a sudden wave of lethargy. This isn't just a local phenomenon, it's a global one. Medical staff make more errors, students score lower on afternoon tests, and office workers find their enthusiasm waning. So it's not just you feeling the afternoon blues, it's a worldwide phenomenon, but why does it happen? Well, it turns out our bodies are wired to take a siesta in the afternoon. You see, there's this thing called the circadian rhythm, a sort of internal clock, which keeps track of our sleep, hormones, body temperature, and a host of other functions. This rhythm influences our alertness and cognitive abilities throughout the day. Now picture this. It's like riding a roller coaster. Your cognitive abilities start climbing up the track in the morning, reaching the peak in the late morning. You're sharp, you're focused, you're on top of your game. But then the afternoon rolls around. And just like that roller coaster, after the peak comes the inevitable dip. This usually happens around seven hours after waking up, smack dab in the middle of the workday. So our own body clock is the culprit. But can anything make this slump worse? Well, if you're not getting enough sleep or having a big lunch, you're practically inviting the slump to a party. Let's imagine you're pulling all-nighters or skimping on sleep. Your body will crave rest by mid-afternoon, leaving you in the clutches of the infamous slump. Think of it as your body's rebellious teenager, demanding a nap when you need to be at your best. Now let's talk about food. Picture yourself devouring a large carb-loaded meal at lunch. Sounds heavenly, right? But here's the catch. Your body needs to work harder to digest all that food, and this could lead to an energy crash, leaving you more sluggish than a sloth in slow motion. So, if you're playing host to the afternoon slump, your sleep schedule and diet might be the uninvited guests causing all the trouble. But don't despair, we're not doomed to an afternoon of yawning and errors. There are ways to fight the slump. Now let's arm ourselves with some anti-slump weapons. First off, the value of breaks cannot be understated. These little timeouts are like the halftime show during a football game providing an opportunity for you to regroup and recharge. A short, deliberate break can counteract mental fatigue, increase focus, and give your productivity a much-needed boost. As for what to do during these breaks, the key is to step away from the work. Get up and move around, perhaps even take a stroll outside. A bit of fresh air and sunshine can work wonders. If you're feeling social, a quick chat with a colleague or friend can also help to rejuvenate your energy and focus. And let's not forget the power of the power nap. A short snooze of 10 to 20 minutes can enhance alertness and performance. Just be careful not to overdo it. Longer naps can lead to sleep inertia, which is just a fancy way of saying that you'll wake up feeling groggy instead of refreshed. Finally, consider adjusting your work schedule to tackle demanding tasks during your peak cognitive times and lighter tasks during the slump. It's like scheduling your workout when you're most energetic and leaving the stretching for when you're winding down. So, armed with these strategies, you're now ready to take on the afternoon slump. So there you have it. Why you're always tired between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. and what to do about it. We've navigated through the deadly hospital analogy, the global phenomenon, our biological basis, the impact of diet, and how strategic breaks, power naps, and work scheduling can save your afternoons. Thanks for joining this enlightening journey. Your comments, likes, and subscriptions fuel our quest for more knowledge. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to let YouTube know this content is appreciated. This is your Nutrition Navigator signing off.